you know who Alexander the Great's tutor was for about 14 years? You know, Aristotle. And I read this. I became immensely jealous. Uh, and I think I would have enjoyed that a great deal. And, and uh, through the miracle of the printed page, I can at least read what Aristotle wrote without an intermediary. And uh, maybe if there's a professor, they can, they can add to that. But at least I can go directly to the source material. And that is, of course, the foundation upon which our Western civilization is built. But I can't ask Aristotle a question. I mean, I can, but I won't get an answer. And so my, my hope is that in, in, in our lifetimes, we can make a tool of a new kind, of an interactive kind. And when I look at the personal computer, uh, we're, as you know, living in the wake of the last revolution, which, which was a new source of free energy. And that was the free energy of petrochemicals, right? And it completely transformed society. And we're products of this petrochemical revolution, which is, we're still living in the wake of today. We are now entering another revolution of free energy. Uh, Macintosh, as you know, uses less power than a few of those light bulbs and uh, yet can save us a few hours a day or give us a whole new experience. And it's free intellectual energy. It's crude, very crude, but it's getting more refined year after year after year. And in our lifetimes, it should get very refined. And so my hope is someday when the next Aristotle is alive, we can capture the underlying worldview of that Aristotle in a computer. And someday some student will be able to not only read the words Aristotle wrote, but ask Aristotle a question and get an answer. And uh, that's, that's what I hope that we can do.